Hey Craft Crew, it's Charity, and I am coming by with a quick tutorial on um, how I made a template for um, the heart puzzles. Now, I actually use Photoshop, but right now I'm going to grab a the picture that I, um, this image right here, this is what I grabbed from the group to work with in creating my template. You can use a simple, well, let's see, I'll just stick with complex, but hopefully it'll do the same thing. This is my first time going through and doing this, so I'm going to minimize it. Then I'm just going to eliminate this background right here. It snatched it pretty clean. And because you're not cutting, um, it doesn't matter if this is kind of rigid. Like, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to continue. And continue. I'm, I'm gonna just do this one. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so for your heart puzzle, I'm gonna pick an image. Uh, okay, yeah, let me use this image of my kids. Okay, so bring this in complex, continue. So if you were making a um a collage or something, you could assemble it in design space, like putting all your other pictures together, doing that kind of thing. But since I'm paying for Photoshop, I prefer to use Photoshop. And this is for I want to say her name was Mahana, and I hope I'm not saying it wrong, but um yeah, I said I would go ahead and knock this out. I don't know why it's taking so long to load this picture. Um, okay, so I'm gonna insert both my puzzle and my image in into what are you saying about to say Photoshop into design space. I don't know why this is taking so long. Okay, so my image I already know like when it starts to take a long time to come in, I'm just gonna push like five. So it yeah, it will come easier. This is here. You can leave the dimensions locked. Um, I use, and this is for all templates. So whether there's chip bags, like anything, like get you a measuring, some measuring tape, if not a ruler. I think I actually use a ruler for this. So the height ended up being what's wrong. I scanned, no. Okay, so I did some scans, but this was a clear picture um, that I just grabbed from, like, how they upload when it comes to the buy-in. That's where I got this image from. I measured, and it's 7.75 gave me, like, nothing more than just, like, a small little halo of extra. Like, it was perfect. And with them being proportionate, you know, that all just balances out. So 7.95 width is definitely going to be more than what you need to cover your, your object. So even if you did 7.8, but 7.5 worked for me perfectly in Photoshop. And of course, I took for granted that, hey, I uploaded this image. It's going to be perfect, 7.5. So I end up doing two prints of 7.5 on my 11 by 17 paper because it actually fits. And that's another thing. Well, really, it does not apply when you're doing um, Cricut because, um, and I didn't think of this until like just now, you can only print um, 6.75 by 9.25. So with our puzzle being 7.75, we're going to have to break it up some. And when you're doing this part, make sure, like I'm going to put this in front. Because the stuff that's here will be what translates. So that pretty much locks in my kids' faces. and doesn't have me hanging off the edge. So I'm going to slice. Okay. Then you can get rid of all this extra. That's done. This is even done. So this will be what the puzzle looks like. Now, if you look here, it's still going to be an issue because of the dimensions I mentioned. 
So I'm going to duplicate this just so that there's not an issue. Um, now, I don't know how this really doesn't matter to me. 7.95. So I'm going to take a square or something and kind of just cover a piece of it. And I'm leaving this one and putting it away just because if I mess up, I might need it again. So I'm going to take this, then I'm going to slice again. And now, as you see, there is no little markings right here. It says, okay, that's too big or, you know, that kind of thing. So what happens now um, is you, you can now go to make it and be sure that you mirror your image. Because, for example, if there was something on the kids' shirts, which I made my, I subbed my daughter this, this shirt on hers. So if the words were clear, it would, it would matter that it's flipped. So I would just go to continue, print them. And again, the only thing I would do, let me go back to this image. The only thing I would do is cut out the black. Cut that off because if you don't, it will stick to your page. Now I will leave a little white on this so that you can then tack your end pointy piece onto it because you're going to need some tape to do that. So if you want to but again i've never sub you sub paper and then cut i'm really not into that but if you feel comfortable with your machine and then not taking off any extra then boom also i'm just now thinking about this too you would not need the bleed on when it comes to printing send to printer Okay, like bleed off. Let's see. Bleed on. Or even for for the one that you're actually going to put on top, you don't want the bleed on. So you can leave the bleed on this one. Print all of that stuff because then you're going to come in with, with your other one. And, and I'm pointing at the screen like you can see. You're going to come in with this one and put it on top. So the one that you're going to be layering on top is the one that you do not need a bleed on. Because the, this bleed on, okay, let me slow down. The bleed on this is insignificant. Because when you come in, in this little area right here, you are going to be placing this, um, this little pointy piece on top. So you could have a little overlay when it comes to the bleed on that one because you're going to be putting this on top of that i hope that makes sense um and again be sure to take all of this black off i personally would not print in design space because it's going to be wasting your paper you could use paint you could use inkscape like anything like that those should be free um to make that work so yeah uh, that's all I got, guys. Some short and sweet, but that's how you do it. Um, if that's not good enough, let me know. And I'm I'm not gonna go through and waste my paper and print everything. But again, you're basically puzzle piecing it. And if you didn't have to split it here, let's go back. Let's go all the way. I'm just gonna delete this and bring this one up and duplicate it and take one away. So let me see. Let me do my typical box that can be used or the maximum length 6.75 and then go by 9.25. Oops. Okay. And this is typically how I do things. Like I will put up, like if I wanted to use one sheet and because you could probably even fit it all on one sheet, maybe. Anyways, this is the max size. I would rather. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip it 90 degrees so that I can maximize my space. And you can come all the way right up to the top. Then I'm going to slice. Oh, shoot. That was welding. I'm going to go back. 
So, and then, now I'm going to slice. Okay? Okay, so that, that left you with less space to work with. And I could have even scooted this a little bit further up. Okay? So, that's that. Also, and you can bring your your piece back in. If you're actually going to cut, let me see if you can make it all fit. 6.75 by 9.25. Let's see. And again, flip this 90 degrees, which I don't know why um, I did that. Send this to the back. Okay. That fits there. This piece might even fit. Okay, and this piece fits in here. So you could do this like that. Bring that down some. Kind of center this one. No, not center. Well, align them vertically. Boom. So, in theory, and this is how I fit more, because Design Space will make these two separate sheets, when in reality, it all fits within the same thing. So then I can take my square away and then click my images and then just attach them. And again, if you're going to print it out, it'll all fit on one, one paper. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I, you wouldn't put bleed on. You could, but you would still need to cut one of these across, like cut the bleed off of this part. Okay, okay, okay. So hopefully that was a two for one in how to conserve paper and make sure you mirror it. Okay. All right, y'all. Peace and love. Um, if there's something else that you guys want to see, just let your girl know and I will try to help you. Um, I'm excited because I did just get a package from um single J's. Which I don't know why I was drawing a blank to Miss Jacqueline's name, but I was. And I just got a package for my necklaces and stuff. I'm gonna show you a sneak little, a little sneak peek. Um, you really can't see with this. Let me try to color my background. But anyway, boom. See there it is. I have got some necklaces in, so I'm about to size and do, get everything going for that, so that I can create. Well, guys, no lie, your tape measure will be the best friend ever. Because, again, this is the image that I actually scan. I will just go to free transform, change this to, I mean, to inches, and enter my dimensions. Like, and I'm on. And it's, and it's that simple. Don't be afraid, guys, to test your skills. I mean, you got this. You got to take control. Scare money don't make no money. So, all right, y'all. Ciao.